Why hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Snowstrom, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hourglass house. Now, this house was custom made by me, as you can see here. It has sand in the top, spewing down into the bottom, kind of giving the, the look of an hourglass. And the house function comes in the bottom part, where you have this big space that you can put basically anything you want. You can put a bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, even a bathroom that's kind of amazing but before we do start building this i'm going to ask you guys to consider hitting the like button and subscribe button down below as they will both help me out a ton and without further ado let's start building this thing all right so the first thing you're going to want to do for this tutorial is that you're going to want to make a line anywhere you want of five cobblestone blocks so one two three four five all right and this will be your entrance to the house so you can break a block in the middle for the door and now, once you have your line complete, you're going to do five more diagonally from this block. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that, you should have five in between. And you're going to go one more block, and you're going to do five more. Kind of just repeat what we just did there and here. And once you got that, five more diagonally. Once you have that done, five more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there you go. Your stone base should be complete. Next, what we're going to do is that we're going to take our spruce planks and basically just build up a couple blocks. All right. So three would probably be best. So we're just going to do our little outline first. Then once you have that complete, you're going to take your spruce logs, go to the front of the house, and go to this block right here, place one there, and on the exact same side over there. Next, you're going to want to build up four blocks, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to connect these two, all right? And now you're going to do this on each side. All right. So now we have that done, we're going to move on to the final pillars for this bottom layer. So we're going to take our oak spruce logs, build up four, just like that. So you're going to leave a three block gap on each side, then you're going to switch to all, all the other sides and do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then once again, on this last side, you're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so once you have the first part of the base done, you're going to basically, uh, bad joke, anyway, you're going to basically place wood, wood, spruce wood all along here, all right? So you're going to want to place it just like this. I recommend placing it like this, one, two, facing off the block, because if you place it like this, it just looks a little strange looking like that so instead we can just make them face each other just like that kind of gives it its rim all right the rim to the bottom structure all right and now for some detail we're going to add our dark oak stairs all right and we're basically going to you know make it a little prettier all right and that automatically upgrades the building by a considerable amount so we're going to do this just like that, upside down stairs. And we're just gonna repeat this process all the way around. That should be done. And what you're going to do next is that you're going to take your dark oak slabs and basically just cover up these top logs because we don't want to see this when we're like, if we're passing above the um, hourglass house we don't want to see these we just want to cover them up and there we go your base should now be complete hold up but before we do i have may have underestimated something an oversight really you're going to place an upside down stair right there and with cobblestone like that and now it should be fully complete all right so this part of the video is probably going to be troublesome for most of you so if you guys feel the need to pause or rewind the video then feel free to do so but we're going to continue with the video. So, without out of the way, we're going to start by placing cobblestone block right there above our entryway. 
and then we're going to do two more to the right, and then we're going to place on the fourth block, we're going to do glass, and then we can break these blocks just temporarily. So you're going to have a three block space from the edge of the house to your glass bottle. Then from there, you can just add two more to the sides. And then from here, we're going to do a five block diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to do two more. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of just repeating the process all the way around. One, two, three, four, five. And lastly, one, two, three, four. And this counts as five. And you should have yourselves a lovely square. All right. So what we're going to do after that is that we're going to take this block, build up one and out one, and kind of just do the same thing over again. But this time, we're going to add two more blocks. So when you have this three, all right, we're going to add one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and kind of just do that all the way around. So now, for one of the more simpler parts, we're going to be raising this bottle five blocks. So this counts as one, and you're going to do two, three, four, five. All right? And you're just going to fill everything up just like this. All right? So once you have completed that, you're going to want to kind of do the same thing that we did down here, but up here. So you're going to take this block, all right, from the front. You're just going to fill this up. And then you're going to do a diagonal without breaking any blocks. So you're going to place one here and one like that, just like that. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and then all the way around. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then all the way around again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. One, two, one, two, whoop, one, two, and one, two. And you should see the shape starting to begin taking place a little bit, and what we're going to do, again, we're going to do another layer exactly like that, but just smaller, so... Alright, so we're going to do this two more times. This time, we're going to be placing a block right here, and then exactly like that, leaving a block in the gap there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One two, one two, one two, one two, one and two. And we're gonna do it once more. I've actually broke this whoop. There we go. And we're gonna do one two, one two, one two. You know, just kinda outline it. Alright. And from here you're gonna want to do one more, I believe. And you're going to want to have your block just like this. And that should be the bottom piece of your hourglass. So once you've completed the first part of your hourglass that's starting to look like a glass bottle, you're going to want to take this part and just completely mirror the thing up here. So we're just going to kind of retrace our steps, but going backwards, all right? So we're going to make a little square just like such, and then we're just going to follow the other pieces of the glass. So just like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one more, two. There you go. And so we're just going to mirror this, and what I'm doing for this is that I'm taking this piece and kind of just aligning up with this. So when you go on to the next layer, I'm just looking at the next layer down. So one, two. And this is this final um, outline is going to be our five block one. So we're going to raise this up by five as well. So this counts as one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. And kind of, you're going to do the exact same thing as you did. So we're just going to raise this up by four more blocks. 
All right, so once you have raised your um, second or top piece by five blocks, you're going to finish it off by adding a another layer, but this one's just going to be like our first one. All right, so our first layer on the bottom piece. We're just going to diagonal all the way, and then we're going to fill it in with glass. There we go, and now we're just going to fill in this with glass. Alright, so once you are done with filling it in, we're going to be starting to mirror this bottom piece up here to the top. So once you're done filling in the roof of glass, you're going to want to take the e the entrance end, or your front side, of your house, and you're going to want to place a spruce plank along with two more. So one, two, making a three block row. And then you're just going to place one on that side and one on that side. And from there, you're just going to do the diagonal which is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two again. And then one, two, and then same thing. We're going to do this all the way around. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So you can fill this in. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to fill this in really quickly. All right, so once you're done doing that, we're going to add one more layer around. And your layer should almost be complete. There we go. Your layer should be complete. And now what you're going to do here is that you're going to take your spruce logs or temporary block. And you're going to place a slab underneath it. Okay. And then from there, you're going to build up four spruce logs, so one, two, three, four, and we're basically going to do these pillars, but mirrored upside down. So then we're going to place temporary block, slab, and then one, two, three, four, leaving a three block gap. And then we can just connect these. Now we're going to do these on all sides. So now we're going to move on to the pillars that are on the sides here, as you can see there. So these should be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You're just going to do the same thing. Temporary block, slab underneath, and then build up four blocks, just like such. And we're going to do these in all four corners. These should be about complete, but one more thing before we do... Move on to the next part is that we're going to add dark, um, spruce wood, which we're going to use to connect these diagonal pillars to the side pillars. Same thing that we did down there, just mirrored. Now we're just going to build the walls of this. It's going to be quite simple. So what we're going to do here is that you're going to place, kind of just outline or raise the, raise the already made outline by three blocks. Of spruce spruce planks. One, two, three. And then f we're going to take this top layer and replace it with cobblestone. And once you're done with that, I personally like to replace these top logs with wood, spruce wood, which has the same texture on all sides. Quite helpful when you're building. Just going to replace these. And there you go, your root, your walls should be complete. Alright, so now we're going to finish off with the roof, and what we're going to do here is that we're going to place slabs all along these cobblestone blocks, just like such. And then from here, we can place dark oak planks just to fill in the roof. And there you go, your roof should be complete. And once again, I may have missed a little oversight. We're going to be 
just adding these stairs upside down to the edges just to give it a little better texture. Same thing we did down there. One, two, one, two, one, two, whoop, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, and there you go. Your build should be around complete. So after I was done completing that, I added a floor along with a couple torches on the wall and added a door. You can have any type of door you want. I personally like the oak door, it just really fits it. And I added dark oak because that's one of my favorite blocks. And next what we're going to do is that we're going to add these stairs to the bottom of this hourglass like it's being like it was locked in place or being held by these stairs. So just like this, you're going to add one, two to the front. And when you're on the diagonal, it gets a little tricky. You're going to place one, two, just like such. And one, two. Kind of just repeat the process. Now we can move on to the top. So the top is going to have regular stairs. And then one, two. The top, you don't have to have a two block gap. You can have a three block gap if you want. And here's one of my favorite parts is spamming sand inside the hourglass itself. So what we're going to do is break into here temporarily. You can break a little hole. You can place it back if you want to, but we're not going to need to. And you're just going to start spamming sand everywhere. So, yeah. Alright, so once you are done spamming uh, sand everywhere, you can place a couple pieces of glowstone just to make sure that monsters don't spawn in here. And it also looks quite nice if you're using shaders, so particularly I kind of like it. And now it's time to spam the lower half. Alright, so now that we're basically done with this, we can start placing glowstone in here. You can place it wherever you want. And oh, one more right here. There we go. And with that, I think we are officially done. So now let's test this out with shaders on, shall we? Oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. Now we have two of them. Wait, what does it look like when it's nighttime? Oh, the close time set night. Oh my gosh, that looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I mean, minus the sun. All right, I know the moon's over there, but still. Wait, hold up. What if I just like... Oh, look at that. I feel like this is somehow illegal, having the sun and moon both here. And that ends our tutorial for today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like on the video, which tells me that, hey, I like these videos. I want to see more house tutorials like this. And... If you guys want to be notified when these are first uploaded and you want it to be the first comment in the comment section, then all you have to do is two things. Hit that subscribe button and turn on bell for notifications. And without further ado, that ends this video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching.